What's up? In the stain room. <laughs> In the stain room with your boy MB. Uh, today's topic. Why is best just to use the subwoofer's X-Max to reach your output goals instead of depending so much on a subwoofer's X-Mechanical? Now, X-Max, what is X-Max? X-Max is the ability of your subwoofer. X-Max is the ability of your subwoofer to reach its, its excursion capability under the power of the motor itself. Okay? Uh, as the subwoofer is played, because the woofer does not become a motor, well, it is a motor. And the effect that it's doing is causing the cone and all the soft parts to move back and forth. Uh, look at this subwoofer right here. Uh, it's a, a mental, mental note. Well, the X-Max is what is able, the subwoofer is able to do under control. And that's why it's listed. The voice coil stays within the gap. The gap is between the pole piece and the top plate. That's considered the gap. Hey, go to Google and look up these terms. Subwoofer top plate. Subwoofer gap. Read various articles that talk about it. Particularly read the ones from the big boys. The ones who've been doing it for years. J Audio has a, a forum. So there's Kicker. So there's even Diesel Designs. These are forums that you want to get from the manufacturer himself. The subwoofer manufacturer. Not blokes like me. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Because these guys here, that's what they do for a living. They build subwoofers. And they will explain to you specifically what X-Max and X-Mechanical does. I'm giving you layman terms. Now, X-Max is used with your output. That's your output that's under control. But you do get a certain amount of output from the X-Mechanical. And X-Mechanical, at times, can be as, uh, can be twice as much as the X-Max. It's not rare to see a subwoofer with a, uh, uh, X Max of 21 with an X Mechanical of 46. So you're like, whoa, wait a second. Yes. I mean, even with eights. I've seen X, uh, eight in subwoofers with X Max of 16 and X Mechanical of 35. Even greater than the X Max. Remember, the X Max is what's controlled by the amplifier, what the amplifier is controlling the subwoofer. And it's based on the RMS power that the amplifier, that the subwoofer can handle. If it says that the subwoofer has an RMS of 500 watts and it has 16 millimeters X Max, that means at 500 watts you're going to get 500. Man, sometimes they're conservative. Uh, 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 they make it conservative, which in my opinion, how you look at it, if it takes, if they, if it say 500, but it really could take 750 to reach X Max, then you might say, well, that's a good thing. Uh, kind of so but also means it's more efficient it's, it's inefficient sometimes you don't want a subwoofer to reach its x max uh using that much power sometimes you do it all depends on what you need the subwoofer for if you don't like to have a lot of power then you want a subwoofer that's going to reach its x max at a limited amount of power with a certain sensitivity rating a certain db rating for instance you wouldn't want to have a 12 inch subwoofer that has an x max of 14 at 250 watts, but the sensitivity is 83. You're not gonna get a lot of output. If it has a low X max, if it has a low power rating and a high X max, you also wanna have a high sensitivity rating. So you can get a desired output with very little power. Very little power. Some subwoofers, especially the subwoofers we have today, they have high X maxes, Sometimes double and double and some X mechanical and a high power rating just to get that desired X max that's conservatively rated. They might say 1500 watts with an X and the subwoofer's X max is 24 millimeters. 
So at 1500 watts, I'm gonna get the full control and excursion of the subwoofer. But it's conservatively rated, which means that it's not really 1500 watts. It takes 2000 watts to get this subwoofer to its X max. You thinking that's a good thing. Hmm. Remember, the more power that is needed to move the subwoofer, the bigger your electric is gonna be. So it's a win-win for the manufacturer because he sells you any fifty driver and then he'll say the amplifier for it as well. Think about that. Now, what about the X-Mechanical? Well, what about that twice as much X-Mechanical? That is what is controlled by the cone and the spider. That's your X-Mechanical. As the subwoofer is thrown past its resting point, which is zero, the x mass is controlled by the amplifier. It keeps it within the gap. As you turn that volume knob, it's the power of that motor can shoot the cone even further than the gap. Well, what's going to bring it back if the cone, if the, if the coil and the gap is being controlled by the amplifier and it shoots past zero and past the x mass what brings it back? The surround and the spider. That's your X-Mechanical. Now, is that output readable? Yes. Is it as accurate as controlled as the X Max? No. Is it meterable? Yes. Is it as controlled as the X Max? No. That's why it's listed. That's why it's listed. There's a difference between the two. One is under control, one is using mechanical properties to bring itself back. One is under control of the amplifier in the gap. And one is in control depending solely on mechanical forces at play. The elasticity or the tightness of the surround and the spider to bring it back. I like this. I like the output of the X-Max. And I know how to build enclosures so that you don't have to worry about throwing the gobs of power because you're trying to get all your output from the X-Mechanical. I'm telling you, get your output from the X-Max. That's your cleanest, hard hittingest base. It's accurate, tight, controlled. What most of us S SQL guys love. But there's a crowd that loves the X, the X. There is a crowd that wants the X mechanical. They take the X mechanical into play. And that's the SPL crowd. Because they trying to get everything they can, because they chase the number. So they need they need everything they can to get desired results. Okay, all right. So, with that being said, remember this: all of these parameters, all these factors, make me tell y'all when I tell you there is no perfect subwoofer because it's all what they use it for. That's why when y'all call y'all, I keep telling y'all stop asking me with this sub uh, beat this sub. Uh. I had one guy ask me today, man. So two kick a Q class a beat. Uh, oh, Ryan 15, man, please don't call me with asking me no stuff like that. I, I ain't got time for that. I'm be honest with you. Keep it 100 with you. Give me a buck 50. I ain't got time to do them verses. Them verses. Any subwoofer sounds good in the box design for it. Point blank, period. I ain't, I'm never going to tell you this sub. I'm not even getting them conversations. I don't even get in those conversations at all, period. Is this sub better than this? Man, I don't want to hear that. I ain't going to argue that with you. Cause I can make any subwoofer sound good. Any subwoofer sound good. It makes no difference to me. I can make any subwoofer sound good. But based on your electrical and based on your space, I'm gonna tell you what subwoofer to get. Because that's what a subwoofer needs. Power, clean power, and application, space to do its job. And then I'm gonna tell you what size to get. It's all about performance levels, not names. And I know that makes a lot of people upset with me and this now and other, but I really don't give a shit. Y'all you know, you know I really don't give a shit. If you don't know, I'm going to tell you, I don't care. If you hate me, love me, if disagree with me, cool, that's what the channel's about. Everything I say is golden. You, you, can, you can do me different or prove me wrong, do it. That's what Cardio's about. You will do it. You're going to do a lot of things that I did, though. You're going to have to buy a lot of these subwoofers. Put them different enclosures for you to come. Hopefully, you'll come to the same conclusion I came to. Man, he right. It really just about performance level.
you gotta know what to look for in the subwoofer. And look how much power you gonna run. And that's gonna dictate, yeah, this grain popping in here. Yeah, it's popping. Uh, and that's gonna dictate the output that you're gonna get. And you're just trying to, you're just trying to SQ crowd. Which is most, I think 95% of my subscribers, that's all they are, the SQ crowd, SQL crowd. All you're looking for is you wanna beat down the street. All you really concern yourself with is the X-Max. Match and amplify to the X-Max of the sub. Don't pick these, and don't think you need a lot, don't, and don't think X-Max, and that's a whole nother video. I think X-Max, oh, this sub got more X-Max than that sub, it's gonna get louder. <laughs> you didn't take other parameters in consideration. Don't believe that as well. But that's a whole other video we're doing in the standing room. But that's just my explanation of what uh, x max and X-Mechanical is. Take it for what you will. Do what you want to do with it. Please research it. Come up with your own conclusion to you for yourself. And go from there. Peace. Look at that right now. Look at that. Woo. Ain't that nice? Can y'all see that? I don't know, y'all really can't see. I can see it better than anybody. It's beautiful. Oh. It's beautiful. Hand rub. NBE, baby. Y'all know what I do, man. I make it bang. F the rest.